So welcome back guys! We are back to the redstone tutorials or actually a minecraft tutorials just in general. So today I'm gonna show you a mob grinder but that's, let's go over here actually. It's not the same mob grinder that you, you, you maybe saw in the ethos video. Uh, this is the same design as you can see and this is my design uh, kind of uh, actually it has few advantages it is a little bit more compact it is uh, well at least from my testing uh, it spawns more mobs but I don't know where that came from it shouldn't really matter so yeah uh, basically I'm gonna show you ethos design and then I'm gonna show you my design so here we go we are here and let me get my notes over here so basically this is ethos design this is mine my microphone doesn't want to work so yeah ethos design is now six layers here as you can see well you can't see that but <laughs> yeah uh, so I have some statistics Seven, uh, or actually uh, let's talk about one level uh, it may not look familiar but yeah. okay ethos design one level has is 19 by 19 by 5 it uses 756 blocks to make one level one level uh, not including the ceiling you know uh, it is uh, it uses 12 half slabs and 8 water. Now my design uh, is 17 by 17 by 4. It uses 512 blocks to build, 12 half slabs, 2 signs and 8 water source things, thingies. <laughs> so yeah, uh, it's it may not look that much, uh, but however, here you can see it, this is 6 levels. And it requ requires, it is ethos design, it requires 4777 blocks, which will be 72 half slabs and 48 water source blocks. And my design is 7 levels, not 6, but 7, and it re requires only 3809 blocks, 84 half slabs, because one block more than this one or level than this one uh, 12 uh, 14 signs and 56 water source blocks so yeah uh, I mean basically the water source blocks will be the same as in here each level so yeah uh, <laughs> each level has what like eight water source blocks I think yeah something about that so yeah let's go ahead and and see uh, so as you can see ethos design is only six levels, but it's still two blocks higher than my my design seven levels Which is seven levels. So let's go and I think build a little bit uh, I will put the world on the download so you can guys can see that So basically I will build it on the ground uh, It doesn't really matter. So let's pretend this is the hole that's what he said. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, try to be professional, okay? <laughs> At least one time. Okay, so I'm gonna put the floor over here. Like this, I'm gonna use white wall. Uh, then I'm gonna put eight blocks right here. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm gonna do the same with these ones. Uh, wait, is that eight? Uh, here we go and it's I mean you can choose ethos design but it, it's really efficient my design is really efficient also so uh, go on use if you want then we wanna add like this here I think it should be like three of them uh, or actually you can add four it will be easier later so yeah for here
Okay, so I screwed up at counting this, so <laughs> you should make sure that you don't. Uh, basically, now I'm gonna show you how to do the pads. Uh, basically, it, it's the same basic design as in Ethos, but as I said, this is a little bit more compact. So this looks sim symmetrical. Okay, so basically, first block will be here, right ne next to the hole. Damn it. <laughs> okay, then. The second one will be here, right next to that. Then here, and basically it's the, the yeah I say basically too much I know. Uh, it's the same design as in Mytho, so I don't know I I I'm I'm not particularly sure if you should use this or that design because I mean uh, I don't know it, I mean it this design is still efficient and from my uh, testing basically I did some tests and uh, with both designs and with my design uh, there were uh, like what three times more mobs than in the ethos design but I don't know that that screwed up some, something because that shouldn't be that much of a di difference so yeah when we have this we can al already put half slabs in the middle so the the spiders can't uh, spawn. Of course, you can modify the hole over here by to four by four, and then make these so that well, you have to modify mo mo most of this mob grinder to make that the spiders could go down. <laughs> okay, so now uh, we'll need some signs actually. Let's get this out of my hood. Yeah, the hood. Uh, where signs? Here we go. And then water. Yes, water. Please give me some water. But we won't use that now. We'll need it later. Now we're gonna build some walls over up in here. Like this. Leave the gaps right here in the corners. You will need that. Uh, yeah. Uh, so basically. Yeah, I say basically too much, damn it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know, uh, I would recommend to use this design, just because it uses less blocks, as I said, 7 levels of this uses 3000, what, 800 blocks, and 6 levels of Ethos design uses 4717, or 70, so that's quite a difference, you know, Al almost, like, what, a almost a thousand blocks, yeah almost a thousand blocks and plus one level more in my design so so yeah now you wanna make this to be at least too high so I'm gonna make two more like these of course you could just dig in into a uh, in did this into the ground and you won't have to build anything but you will have to dig out everything which I actually did in my uh, let's play world which you could see actually it should be by now but yeah <laughs> uh, and it's really compact as I said earlier uh, I don't really know what to say more <laughs> just build okay you know what time set day is that right yeah it's right Okay, let's do this, and then we're gonna put the ceiling on. Uh, and again, I said that it's by four, which you can see that it's by five because I didn't include the ceiling of it. So basically, uh, this should be the ceiling right here if you don't want the Enderman to spawn in. So basically, yeah, it's four, as you can see. If you we delete the ceiling, it's four because the the ceiling for this would be this one level right here of the other thing right so yeah uh, well let's leave the ceiling open and now we want to put a sign over here and one sign o on top of it then put water here 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 oh dang it I screwed it up somehow uh, here Make sure that the water, like in the middle of the in the middle 
over here uh, works fine because sometimes it glitches out uh, when you build it uh, so yeah it works fine now basically when the mobs go down they will go here and they will fall to their death right uh, and you can do whatever levels you want you can do hundreds well I don't think that hundreds low hundred of levels will fit in this world height but eh, <laughs> you know me uh, I like big things mmm that's what she said <laughs> okay so yeah then you put the ceiling on this right here as you can as I said this has to be too high uh, it's really simple design and basically I just build this for fun it's really fun to build plus uh, uh, you like in your let's play world or just regular world that you don't cheat in <laughs> uh, you can I basically build this for the sulfur and uh, for the gunpowder basically because I don't need uh, at least in my let's play I don't need uh, arrows because I have the skeleton spawner thing I don't need I certainly don't need <laughs> the Rotten flesh because I have so many freaking farms all 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 all, 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 all over the place. So yeah, then you put it here, yeah, like this, like this, and like this. So if you will add next layer, make sure to add like a hole over here. Yeah, no shit because they won't fall down there without that. So yeah. Basically that's it guys. Mm. Oh yeah, uh, you, if you will have to put it up somewhere like... Like here, this is 25 blocks from the ground. Why not 25? Not why, bleh, damn it. why not 24? Because like mobs can die at... Going down at 24. Why? Because uh, I did some testing and basically... Uh, the thing for it is that at 24 blocks, sometimes, uh, sometimes, only sometimes, zombies fall down and they don't die. Uh, so basically you don't want to make your freaking mob grinder into a farm, XP farm, right? So yeah. So here we go. Up we go, I say. Yeah, yeah, it's perfectly fine working. As you can see, you can drop from here, and you will drop right directly right there, right? And you will die. <laughs> so yeah, this is it for this episode, guys. If you enjoyed, uh, please, please push the like button. It really helps. Also, I hope you, uh, I helped you uh, with the design of your, of your fabulous mob grinder. <laughs> and yeah. Uh, I, I'm Truster, and I'm going to see you guys next time. Hope you'll have lots of killing in your mob grinder.